This video is about rigging Grace for reefing. It's been five years since I launched Grace, and although it was designed with reef points in the sail, I have yet to rig for reefing. Reefing is the way that you can reduce the amount of sail for windier conditions like this one. My rig is sort of a non-standard gaff, and it took a couple of tries, but I'm pretty happy with it. rigging for reefing and it hasn't been a great big deal because even solo sailing this rig it's so forgiving i can manage with luffing along but i do have reef points sewn into this sail i designed it that way and uh i'll show you why a little bit of a challenge we'll see grace is a gaff rig meaning there's a boom and then another spar at the top of the sail it's kind of a traditional rig aerodynamically maybe not the most efficient but it lets you have a shorter mast i like having the mast sit down inside the boat and get the center of effort of the sail a little lower to the water a little less healing moment but it's not fully traditional gaff rig normal gaff rig you would have two blocks here two halyards one that goes to what's called the throat and the other which goes to the peak and by adjusting those two halyards, you can just get the tension you need to keep the sail in the right shape. What I've done for simplicity on this small boat, is I've got a single block here at the masthead, one halyard, and it goes to a bridle. And that bridle has an attach point part way up the gaff here and near the throat here. And what I found is by having sort of a four to one ratio, three to one ratio in the lakes, I can, by minute adjustments on the final bit of halyard tension as it comes up, control how much I pull up on the peak versus the throat and get the tension on the sail right, which works great when the sail's all the way up. As we'll see, when I lower it to try to reef, that means that for every bit of halyard that comes off, the peak goes down four times or three times farther than the throat. And that's not going to work. So I got an idea that I want to try on how we could reef with this kind of non-standard gaff rig. Okay, watch as I raise the sail. The final little bit of halyard tightening is for peak tension adjustment. If I were to lower the halyard to where I could attach those reef points, watch what happens to the peak. All right, I've got the reef points tied off forward, and luff, and aft, and the leech with the lines I've had sitting there for five years, not used yet. We'll raise the sail to about where I want. And what I'm hoping is by simply attaching a line straight down I can get a sufficiently decent sail shape Typically we want that might do it it's actually a downhaul technically but uh, sail shape doesn't look too bad so the next step is to run some Little lines that are used, at least a couple of them, to gather up the slop, keep it out of the way, and then take our sail in this way. I don't know that we really need one there, but I think we need all three. Try it under sail. That looks pretty good. This will actually be the first sail in 2023 in Ohio. I'm going to rig for reefing right from the start. And we can go through the exercise of unreefing then underway. If she comes up, why is she not, huh?
Not the greatest shape in the world, but let's see what it does to sailing. Not really much like that diagonal across there. But the only answer for that is more peak. <clears throat> One solution would be to have something that holds the top of the halyard to the mast. But how to safely get that on and up and down and but you know, we're moving. And that's the key about reefing. I mean, you can luff, but at some point you're just kind of holding steady to keep from getting knocked over and you're not able to make way, especially upwind at all. So with the reef sail, you can actually maintain headway in some of these marginal conditions. All right, I think that's enough for me in these light airs. Let's go through an unreefing exercise. Bundles, the clue. Now it decides to blow 20. <laughs> Would have been better reef for that little puff. Nice to get out. I think we'll go ahead and mark that off the list. Although someday I might try a loop around the bridle. I realize I've been trying to talk myself into the conclusion that that reefing rig is good enough. I really don't like that diagonal, which results from insufficient tension on the peak. And I think I've really maxed out my downhaul approach in terms of addressing that. Here's the deal. If I could bring the attach point on the bridle in toward the mast to the same extent it is when the sail is fully raised up here, that would then correct and get me tension on the peak. But how to do that? If I have like a loop or something, there's two problems with that. First of all, there's gonna be friction and I don't like the idea of anything that makes it harder to get the sail down, especially under reefing conditions. It's likely to be sporty at that point. You want that sail to come down when you want it to come down. The other problem is, as soon as you attach that, uh, even when the sail's fully down, you're gonna raise the gaff and that's awkward. A little boat nomad with a sort of a gaff rig has that. And it works because I can pull the sail off of the mast or onto the mast when I'm ready to raise or lower it. But I have a thought. What if I have another sleeve and I run a line from the bridle attach point through a block and down? So during raising the sail, that line slack, this sleeve will sit right above the sleeve that the gaff rides on, should stay out of the way get the sail up, then pull down on this line, drawing the bridle in toward the mast, tensioning the peak. The only issue is, um, and I'm just gonna have to try this, it's gonna have to work itself up as that line's tension slide along the mast into position. It might stick there. Yeah, I've got, Another section of that thin wall, three inch that I've used for the sleeves. I know it's not a traditional boat building technique, but it works. Bag of nautical parts here. I want to block on the sleeve, I think. That's right, I just used very simple. Two holes, lashing, hot glue gun. Who says PVC can't be pretty? Put this on first, so it'll be sitting above the gaff. And then the other sleeves. Maybe the block. 
lock should be on the bridle. Come on up there, buddy. Yeah, something like this. Run this down hole through the block. I think it might work. Let's see what happens with that. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that sail shape. I love this. And unlike the downhaul technique, I'm not adding extra unnecessary stress to the whole masthead and halyard and everything else. And I can do the same trick of adjusting the tension between peak and throat. This is better. I have to go for a sail. Windy says should be getting to 14 to 25. Doesn't look like that right now. But, uh, you know, a little more interesting than the test on the uh, previous rig. So the only step you got to take before actually raising the sails to make sure this sleeve gets on. No big deal. I'm just kind of having that up there all the time. Passing on the downhaul. Should be then. Good to go. And then. Just try to clean it over the main. Since. Where the main comes down. This guy needs to come off anyway. Oh, that's way prettier. Here comes some breeze. Line stretching up there. Better. The helm is actually more balanced. And I suppose that makes sense with the jib up, center of effort net moving forward slightly. Down, release the out hole in hole thingy. 